One of my channel subscribers from Switzerland have sent me a question regarding Windows System. What he was trying to do is set a picture that he exported from Lightroom as a desktop wallpaper. The problem with Windows System, and when you're using it with a display that has a wide color gamut capability, such as all the BenQ SFU line or even a PD line for that matter, you're going to run in an issue where Windows doesn't really understand wide color gamut. So your picture is going to look much more saturated than it looks in Lightroom or in a web browser if you have uploaded to a service somewhere. So in this video, what I'd like to show you is how to solve that problem of the oversaturated photo. I'm Art Suansang, BenQ Ambassador, and let's get started. Before we start, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit on the notification bell so be updated every time I upload a new video. So here are a few solutions how to solve the problem with Windows not recognizing a wide color gamut display. In this case, I'm using the brand new BenQ SW321C. This is their 32-inch 4K display. But if you use any other display out there that is wide color gamut, that means a display that can show about 99% Adobe RGB or so, or even the BenQ PD line that can show 100% sRGB, you may be running into these issues. So one of the first solutions to fix this issue is to use a solid color wallpaper as I'm using here. The nice thing about doing it this way is that you're not being influenced by the colors of whatever picture you have showing on your desktop. This way you can be immersed in whatever you're doing and you're not being influenced because our eyes can easily be influenced by different colors. However, if you insist on using a picture as a desktop background, and I totally understand personalization is one of the main key things and that's the reason what makes this unique. So what I'm gonna do here is give you guys a demo of what's happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Lightroom here. We're gonna go ahead and export this picture of the Aurora Borealis from Lightroom. And in this case, I'm gonna call this file sRGB because I'm using the color space sRGB in this case to export this file. I'm gonna go ahead and export this to my desktop. We'll wait for a second. A couple of things to note too is that in the export setting that I have set up, this is actually exported to a 4K resolution so that it matches my screen. Um, in this case, if you're using a 2K screen, you probably want to export it to a 2K resolution, so on and so forth, depending on your screen size. All right, let's go ahead and see what happens here. I'm gonna go ahead and right click here and say to set as desktop background. We'll give it a moment here for the computer to update. So the first thing that we see right now is that the picture is drastically different from Lightroom, meaning that the green is much more greener, as you see there. It's actually hewing towards more of the blue side. And what I can do here is that instead of uploading this picture to the internet somewhere, what I'm simply going to do is open Chrome up and just drag this picture into Chrome so that this picture will load. Essentially, what I'm having, what I'm seeing here is three different color rendition of the one photo. What I like to do is get the background photo so that it looks very similar to what you're seeing in Chrome. The thing is that I'm not really going to be too much concerned about Lightroom because Lightroom is a wide color gamut program and it also understands color management really well. So what's going to look in Lightroom may not necessarily reflect 100% when you export it to a smaller color space. So how do we do that with this picture here to get it looking normal? Well, a couple of things. What I'm going to do first is I'll make a duplicate of this. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this first and I'll just go ahead and paste it onto the desktop right there. So now I have an sRGB copy. So what I'm going to do is take the original sRGB file. Let's open this file up in Photoshop. So if we take a look and see in Photoshop, what we see is a color that's looking normal compared to our desktop. And I can even show you side by side here. You can see the green is much more neutral than what it is showing on the desktop right now. What we want to achieve is a color that looks like this on our desktop wallpaper. So the first thing what I'm going to do here is go into edit menu and click on convert to profile. The key thing here, what you want to do is you want to convert from the sRGB color space you export in Lightroom into the display profile. In this case, my display profile is the SW321C. Now, this is going to be a lot easier if you have already calibrated your profile and have a custom profile made so that you can go ahead and choose that custom profile. In this case, like I said, I'm using the SW321C. This is the profile that I have custom profile with Palette Master Element. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. So the moment I've done that, we're going to notice immediately that the color becomes a little bit more saturated, right? So now what I'm going to do from this point is go ahead and click on edit one more time and assign profile. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and assign it to my working RGB, which is the sRGB color profile. Go ahead and press OK. Lastly, what I'm going to do is go ahead and save this file. 
I'm going to save it as JPEG quality of 10. Let's go ahead and close this sRGB file out. I'm going to minimize Photoshop here. And let's go ahead and set this sRGB picture again as a desktop background, see if that solves our problem. We'll wait for a second here for a window to update the background. And as we can see there, we're now getting colors that closely matches what is being rendered in Chrome and also what is actually being rendered in Lightroom. Now Lightroom, again, like I said, the color is going to look a little bit more saturated than what is going to show on the desktop, but we have now solved that problem. A couple of things here for those of you that may wonder is that if I go ahead and click on export in Lightroom here, and if I've gone ahead and target a different color space in this case, let's say if I've gone ahead and target, for instance, my display profile and export it out and set it as a desktop wallpaper right away, will it still be saturated? And the answer to that is yes, the color would still be saturated. So you still have to take it into Photoshop to solve that problem. But here's the case. I know a lot of you guys are running into these issues. So what I have done is create an action in Photoshop and made it a droplet so that you can go ahead and simply download the droplet from the link in the description below and just use this. And it's very simple. So what I've made here is a droplet from Photoshop called window wallpaper. And I made a copy of that file initially, right? So you just take the file, put it on the droplet. It will launch Photoshop. Now, provided you already have Photoshop installed in your system, this will work. What I'm going to do here is it's going to first ask me like to convert to profile. In this case, I'm going to choose the destination profile here. So that is my screen profile. Similar to what I did before, just not having to click through many of the menus. Go ahead and press OK. The next dialog will pop up. It will ask me what quality I want to save it as. I'm just going to go ahead and choose 10 here. We're done. And I'll go ahead and minimize Photoshop. This picture is now ready for you to use on your desktop. In fact, I'll say set this as a desktop background and there won't be any changes happening that you'll see here. Again, this is how you solve the problem of Windows not understanding why color gamma display. And like I said, there's a way how to do it manually in Photoshop and also you can use my droplet that I created. Now, for some reason, if you download the droplet and if it doesn't work, just go ahead and follow the instructions that I've shown earlier in this video. So I hope that you find this video on how to fix an oversaturated window background picture helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit on the notification bell to be updated every time I upload cool new videos like this. And until next time, art is right.